Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Prioxis, and I'm back with another video, man. And check this one out. I'm going to ask you guys, instead of me straight up telling you, you know, what it is at the beginning, I'm going to ask you guys to tell me what it is after the first fight. All right. After the first fight, I will tell you exactly what I'm doing here. But again, I want you guys to comment what you think um, it was after watching the first fight. What was the the one tip you feel is if I was doing in a match that was basically helping me out or more so the reasoning why you feel as if I won. Okay. It's going to be interesting. I don't know if a lot of you guys are going to get it. It's going to be a probably a tough one for you guys, especially with what I'm thinking and versus what you think it is. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the first fight. Just so you guys know, the first fight is not going to be live commentary. For some reason, my mic wasn't working. So I went ahead and went with no uh, live commentary. So we're going to do the commentary after. But here we go. Okay, here we go. We jump into the first match. We're going against uh, Pereira. We're, he's Division 9 currently. I'm Division 8. So, it's set out to be a good fight as far as Division players, right? Okay. And again, let me know what you guys think it was that I've done in this fight that really gave me, you know, I would just say an advantage would help me out a lot. So, you can see here I'm backing up. Just waiting to see exactly what is he doing. Boom. Nice low kick by him. Follows up with another jab low kick. And boom. All right, now we get out of there. We just recover. Boom. We just, uh, lunge the, the front kick, and then we throw the hook. He throws a four piece. So we come back with a, a body shot. Then we come back with a cross to the body. Okay. Jab cross landing clean for me. And he pushes me down. Then he, boom, puts me on the cage, I believe, after this. And then he's going to try to take me down, but... We deny it. So now, back to playing patient, trying to see exactly what is he doing. Nice uppercuts by him. Now we got to recover our head hoe. Here we go. And by the way, when I say recover your head off, I don't mean, oh, you just wait till it's automatically full. Three piece landed, rocks him. But I'm just saying, don't let it, because the lower it is, the more damage you take. You know, or the long term damage, it'll go down more and much faster. Turn him towards the cage. Boom. We try to storm down so we lose stamina. Okay. Three piece. Jab cross up top. Lead hook to the body. Jab up top. Cross to the body. Okay. He front kicks. He front kicks me back to the body. We're going to circle out here. Jab cross on it clean. Now I tried to keep the momentum going and uh, follow up with a body shot there, but. Did not land. So we're back to, you know, there we go. We don't wanna, we don't wanna overthrow against uh, Pereira because he does hit hard, so I don't wanna get countered or anything. He goes. I come back with a body shot. It was a risky body shot because, I mean, he had a, a much higher head off, but I was like, okay, let me risk it for the body shot. But again, that's just a risk you take when you do. There we go, three piece, you rock him. Go to the body. Boom. Hits him with the hook. As I tried to slip his upper. I thought he was going to uh, throw an uppercut. And I was going to slip to the side and throw an uppercut. You know, as a counter. But he actually threw a hook. Boom. We go to the body. Nice. Okay. You can see here. I'm not rushing anything. Just being very careful, being cautious, and, and like actually focusing on my match versus just doing senseless punches and senseless combos. Nice. Here we go. We'll land a hook counter up top. Nope. He doesn't throw it, and that's going to be the end of the round. By the way, guys, I am sorry if my audio, as far as how my mic sounds compared to my game, I just turned it down. I noticed that it was a bit higher. Well, not higher, but kind of on the same level. 
Maybe we go round two. We check that kick. Then we go to cross to the body after the jab up top. Nice. He goes cross lead body hook, which is a very good combination. I throw a jab cross lead hook followed by a rear uppercut. That's a four piece. There we go. We rock him here. Go body, body. He goes to uppercut. I go body again. And I'm just pressuring the body. I'm just really putting a lot of pressure on his body health and when I rock him. And, and that can lead to something very dangerous, like with us landing something very powerful if we keep doing that. I don't think a lot of guys, in my opinion, attack the body enough, especially in the lower tier division. A lot of guys get, get head hunting heavy. There we go. We go body. He throws an uppercut. We go body again. There's a flying knee, and he goes. I'm not really sure why exactly he threw the flying knee, honestly. I'm not really sure why he threw the flying knee. It was kind of pointless, but he threw it, and uh, we seen it, so we immediately followed up with the right shot, which is always throw on the same side that they throw on. On that situation, he threw a rear flying knee, so basically that was on my lead side, and Michael Bisman got that left hook from hell, so we got him up out of there, but I... um. Now, I'm going to go ahead and lead you guys off into the next few fights, and they will be live commentary unlike this one. But, hey, if you're enjoying this one here, be sure to hit the like button. And, by the way, the thing that I was doing in this whole video that really helped me out here was pretty simple. Playing patient. I also gave you guys a few hints in there, and I said, you know, slowing it down like that. But if you got it, good job. If you didn't get it, it's okay, bro. It is okay. But again, the thing was patience, guys. Slowing down and really paying attention to what you're doing and what your opponent is doing, it will help you out a lot. Try it out. I guarantee it will help you. But hey, moving on. All right, here we go. Now, ah, Division 4. I showed you guys, I showed you guys basically me using somebody and uh, me using more so a, a boxer. Now let's show you guys doing the same thing, but this time we're kickboxing. Okay. I mean, you kickbox, you don't want to be like, oh, I'm using the kickboxer. I have to kick. There's, it's about situations and, you know, when you want to kick and how you want to kick as far as what kick you want to throw. Now, this guy here, you know, he's a little bit aggressive. He's doing some wild stuff. Okay. So he's throwing that. See how he's doing no damage? He has no stamina. He has no stamina. He did all of that and did no damage. Okay, now that'd be an opportunity to kick. Now we kick again, because he's way out of range. He's out of our boxing range. Think about it, if they're out of the punching range, then chances are they're gonna be, you know, more so in a range to where you can kick them. Now, depending on exactly what range they're in, I expect them to back up. Depending on what range that they're in, that would depend on if you need to throw the kick moving forward. See right here, I need to move forward a little bit. Boom, now I'm in range. A lot of guys would just be way back here and they would start the animation of throwing that kick. It's not what you do. You drop your block. Boom, that's a good one. If you drop your block, guys, you move faster. <laughs> your opponent's gonna be black, black, uh, backing up, holding block. That's when you move forward without the block and you get aggressive. And I'm just saying whenever you know, you know they're going to be on a retreat. There you go. Situations like this. Right? Switch kick. Lady clean. He has no body health. He backs up. Kicks me back. Now he really has none. So we're going to walk forward with the high block. Well, his block is high. And uh, my block was down. We're going to push him back. Land the front kick. Rocks him. Go to the body. Go to the body again. And now, what does that tell us? He's blocking up top, right? He's blocking up top, I mean, body to his body heavy. So with that being said, I can definitely look to land a kick if I get a rock. He's probably gonna throw a stupid jump kick to the body. Shoots another takedown. He's gonna pick him towards the fence, or cage, I'm sorry, whatever. Go to the body, then we go up top. Okay. You can see this guy's kind of punching himself out by, like, playing too fast. Playing too fast. He's probably going to go to sleep when he gets up. No? 
There we go. I'm actually going to just try to knock him out. There's no purpose of trying to hold him into this match. It's kind of lagging a little bit. Up to the body. Up to the body. And that's going to be in and around. But yeah, guys, slow down. Quit throwing crazy. You guys literally watching me play these guys and they do that crazy stuff and I just watch them and then I just counter them or I just, you know, land after they throw and I continue to drain their stamina. I know a lot of you guys have trouble with spammers and stuff like that, but slow down your game and really figure out your ranges. Right here. Okay, I canceled that. But wanna know why I canceled that? Because he walked back into boxing range. That's why you always want to pay attention. You don't autopilot. Because you autopilot, you would just autopilot throw that and not really think about you throwing that. Now here, he's doing the same thing. Go to the body. He's in boxing range. We're going to walk forward a little bit. He backs up. Okay. And he backed up into kicking range. Go to the body. We drop him. Nice takedown. But he doesn't get it. Okay. And I mean, this fight's basically over. This fight's basically over. Good night. Machito. Another one. Machito. Good night. He's used to me going to the body. And this is how you condition people. This is how you really condition people with doing stuff like this. Setting them up, going to the body, going up top, going low. You mix it up. You just mix it up, man. You know, especially this is why you uh, also attack the head and the body. Because when you attack head and body, now they got to think about both. And now that sets you up to, to do more damage versus you just attacking up top. And now it's like all they're going to do is block high when they get rocked. And now you got to try to work in the body work when they get rocked. And it's like you should have been doing it. So I always look to work the body, especially if you're going against somebody with a really good switch stance. I think working the body is very reliable. Because working the legs just isn't that great in UFC 4. But hey. It is what it is. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next fight. It will be in heavyweight, so let's have some fun. All right, but here we go. All right, guys. <clears throat> we'll end it here with uh, some wrestling. I think this will take us to Division 10. I'm, I'm not sure, but here we go. I know a lot of you guys like to be wrestlers as well, and I'll show you guys what you can do, especially in the lower tier divisions. A lot of these guys aren't really great at denying takedowns a lot of these guys you can immediately shoot takedowns on and turn them. if you don't know how to do turning takedowns i highly suggest you go to my youtube channel and uh check out the tutorials you can see here this guy's literally consistently transitioning and yeah the, the fight's over the fight's over guys hey boy ain't no fucking way boy boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy <sighs> Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no fucking way, boy. I just, I just don't understand. Uh, enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward. I love you guys. I, I just, I'm lost for words, bro. I really am. We got to Division 10. So that's a good ending. I can't anymore. If you want submission tutorials, I have them. Okay, have them all on my channel. Take down tutorials, have them all on my channel. Just look them up. I love you guys. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, man. I'm out. See ya.